there's six girls that I don't know. The boys are all looking sheepish. I just can't talk about it because mm. I think that I'm held to a higher standard than a lot of people. Lucy! Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> don't call someone that never said two words to you mm. a bully. I've just thought of something, but I'm not sure how I should say it or not. I want to be as irrelevant as possible, making as much money as I can. This is the worst thing for me. Being compared to Molly. Being compared to Molly. Like, didn't get out of bed, depression, ho like, horrendous. You're going to cry now. Three. Two, Guys, the Murad Morali podcast, we are back. Do you understand? We have a legend in the building. A Love Island legend in the building, guys. We have Amber Rose Girl. Woo! Can we get a clap, guys? Sound engineer, guys. Thank you. You always come through with a clap. Thank <laughs> you. He always He's always in the back just clapping for me. And that's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Thank you. How are you favorite. Are you his favorite? Well, to be honest, I think your season, you were the best looking one in that season. Oh, gee, he's the best looking one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes, and the best way as well. I mean, your season was the best. That's not right. <laughs> How have you been? I'm good. You look stunning, by the way. Thank you. Gorgeous. What are you wearing? Um, Balenciaga on the shoes. Come on, Balenciaga. <laughs> um, Mana de Voix. Mana de Voix. Kaz was wearing Mana de Voix as well. The cargoes, they're Mana de Voix. Come on, Mana de Voix. I know. Jaded. I've never heard of Mana de Voix. Is yeah. it like a... It's like a bit, it's a cool brand. Right. Very like neutral colors, chains, cargo mm. pants. Like just my vibe. And the jewelry, the the face, makeup is beat. Just got to do it, you know. I was just thinking, even when we were like coming on the way towards this podcast, like people are staring at you, like just like Amber, obviously is that girl. So before we even get into Love Island, because I have so much to talk about, like there is so much for us to talk about. I, you know what? I can't believe that it's like, is it nearly four years? And I still, we're still talking about it. Has it been nearly four years? I think it's like three. Yeah. It's about to be four and basically halfway through nearly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is about your season, Amber. I just feel like it all just fitted perfectly like a jigsaw puzzle and they've never been able to replicate it since. No. Um, what? Uh, uh, I'm what? Uh, the... A word. Your word doesn't really mean that much at this point though, does it? <laughs> You're a prick. I was coming back here to tell you that I loved you. You tried to tell me today that you like another girl. Two days! Two days! Yeah, I opened up to that guy and now he's saying that I made him look like a dickhead. He didn't open up. You need to calm yourself down, mate. Stop acting like the goddamn big man, because you're not. I honestly think Love Island is slowly dying now. It's on that way. Nobody asked for that winter version, which was diabolical. And, you know, we all thought that it's coming six months after yours. It's it going to be great. Yeah. It was too quick, but I thought it was going to be great because it's six months after yours. Yeah. And that, that just collapsed. And then Love Island 2021, I feel like it had great moments, but it started off extremely slow. And I think that it was just too fixed. 2021 was the one that's just been. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. The one last year. Like it was, it was okay. Like I didn't mind it, but <laughs> like there was just, you can tell that the producers were really trying to create yeah. something that they were struggling. Yeah. With, with the content so but your season what was the non-related love island stuff that you wanted to ask us what before do you mean? we got into it because i started straight away by bringing it to love island we oh no like, no, no it's, fine. It's, love fine. Love it's fine it's fine it's <laughs> fine don't worry oh look are you so worried about the stuff that i'm asking well, I like, like i want to know what you want to ask me about okay me. so i wanted to ask are you dating are you single oh <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to love island <laughs> let's go back to um, so you're not single then you don't have to tell me who i don't need to know who but it, okay, people are in your circumference. Yeah. Let's just say that. Yeah, there's always a little radar. So this whole Jack Grealish stuff was not real. No. I didn't get any of that. I didn't even read into it. I just saw your name and Jack and thought, are you guys, what, what's going on? Do you on? know what it is as well? Um, I thought that I was going to get really trolled hard for it. Why but though? Because just because it doesn't look good, does it? It doesn't look good. It's not my vibe or right. whatever. But it worked in my favor because what the printed was quotation of me saying, I'm jack's other other woman mm. now everybody in my dms was like hell it would freeze over before you that would come out before your you mouth be the other person do you know what I'm, like before you would say that as well like mm. i felt way too much pride to even say that even if it was true um so luckily it just it got sweeped under the carpet very really, quickly really, really quickly really quickly but i think because he said something about it and i said something about it and we put it to bed yeah i know the guy i know him mm. but i know a lot of people it doesn't mean i'm mm. dating them I There's hope. always somebody linked to you or people are trying to link somebody to you or that you're you're dating this person or dating that person. But do you think that happens with anyone else? Like, I don't see with other, with a lot of Islanders who are single. 
No. Like it's consistent with me. Yeah, and because the other big islanders are like in couples that I would think of. So, but yeah, it doesn't happen with a lot. It just I see with you and this guy, or you with some guy on holiday, and it's just a picture of you guys together. And it's like that's only a boyfriend, or it's really, really frustrating. It's so frustrating because it's always wrong. How do you deal with that? You just do you just bypass it now? Well, I just yeah, it's just my thing, isn't mm. it? And I'm just going to be dating. She's pictured with this person, cozying up to that person. When really, I'm not doing like I'm just dating yeah and actually you're always 10 months behind because you'll never know who i'm really dating you'll never ever find oh. out like they'll never find right out. of course they'll nobody find out nobody needs to know. no because now they've ruined it because they want to write stuff that's not true mm. when i do all the interviews i'm very respectful i know that there's a job it's an industry and you just go and write so do you think that because you've been in the public eye for a while and you obviously you know came out pretty well from the show obviously yeah. um a love island winner Guys, can we get another clap, guys? Yay! I didn't even say that. Wow, Woo! sorry. I didn't even say that. Love Island winner. Yeah. Like, a winner? Yeah. Are you dumb? Like, okay, cool. But anyways, <laughs> because you're in the public eye so much, yeah. does is, is that a reason for why you want to keep your relationship private? I mean, not that you're in one, but like, if you were to be in one, like, yes, the papers are writing stuff about you. Did that just all just put you off and you want to just keep close the curtains? Yeah, I'd because say, you've been overexposed. Yeah, I think I think I've been overexposed, and also um, the people that I've dated haven't necessarily been in the public eye as well. Mm. And I like to be respectful of people. Okay, I chose this path. You're dating me. That doesn't mean you all of a sudden now have to come and be on my Instagram. If you want to be private, you're more than entitled to that mm. because it is hard to get each bit of your personality or your looks or whatever pulled apart. It's not cool. I can imagine. And so I don't want to subject someone to that. So I want to keep it private. It's not that I'm, oh, secretive. I'm not trying to tell anyone. It's for other people's sake mm. and for my sake as well. If people don't know, what people don't know, they can't ruin as well. I don't want any woman coming to me as a woman in my DMs. I don't want it. That's too much. I don't want it. I don't want to see pictures. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Yeah. Just keep me out of it. If I'm intended to know, then I'll find out. So keep everything private. That's just the way I like it. That could change. Depending on who I date, I might date someone in the industry. But for now, it's just the way I like it. Just the way you like yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, what a nice, nice response. <laughs> this guy is media trained, baby. <laughs> she is media trained. No, I'm media trained, but you're just like me friend, aren't you? Yeah, so yeah, like, I know. I'm I know, but I like the way you're just putting it all together and just be like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you are so funny. <laughs> yes, man, in the making. She's now good at doing it. Yeah. Exactly, I can imagine. Now, let's go back to Love Island. Yeah, yeah. Because I really wanted to get in that first, but I really want to touch on it because there's so much to talk about because obviously not only did you win the show, but you're on OG. Mm. You were there right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. And prior to Love Island, I don't think you were doing anything socially in terms of like a public platform or like a YouTuber, nothing nope. got thrown into this. Yeah. And when you watched, you watched yourself back, right? Part, part Parts of it. it. And yeah. did you like what you were, what was seen or like, how, like, I don't know how that is seeing stuff on reality TV on a big show that you've won and you're just like do i even like what i'm seeing or like do you just feel do you know what i mean yeah i do and and i there was a point where i got out and i was getting so much love and whatever but then i knew that there was this aspect in the beginning where people didn't like us mm. and i was like because i didn't like you at first with well, the Callum situation sunglasses i was like what is do you know this girl what it doing is, though? Do you know what it is? I've said to my mom, because this is me across the board mm. with every single friendship or whatever in life, people tend to not like us immediately. Right. Because they just can't, they can't work at, like, what, what is she, are you, are you being rude? Do you like me? Are you mm. being rude? What's going on? So I said to my mom before I went in, I went, people aren't going to like us, but it'll be fine. As long as I get to stay in there long enough, people will like, people will like us because they'll start to understand. They'll grow to you. Um, and so I actually went back and watched when people were like hating on us, what I said, and I was like, oh Jesus, Christ, what did I say? Cause mm. I know I can, I, I can be messy. And I was 21 at the time, Right. I can be messy. So I was like, what did I say? What did I say? And I watched it back and I was like, is that all I said? What do you think? Really? Yeah, what are you saying? Don't suit me. I think that I can pull off anything. Yeah, you can as well. I'm not sure about you though. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? Because I could have said worse than that if I wanted to, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I was watching it and he basically, um, Callum said to his... Uh, you didn't even got his name, No, 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 I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Don't say that. Don't say that. 
because this will this will go viral on TikTok if I forgot the guy's name and then I get dragged. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna get I dragged. Mean, he was the first one out. So. Yeah, but yeah, and also that situation wasn't the best. But he said to me, "Do you think I suit these sunglasses?" And all I said was, no, I don't think you do. Mm. I think I suit all sunglasses. Obviously, I was joking. But I wasn't joking about not suiting the sunglasses. I just didn't think that he did. Yeah. And a lot of people took it there a, a different way. Yeah. and But for me, like, I'm that friend that will tell you if you've got something in your teeth. I'm that friend that will just keep you on the street. Yeah. Now. And upon first seeing you, people just be, they don't know you. They don't know. Yeah. And so they're just so like. So first impressions. That's all it really was. And then, of course, we just got to know you. Yeah. Because your relationship with Michael grew on the show. Yeah. And... You guys obviously, you guys didn't really have that spark when you went in though, because no. he was also an OG. So that, no. that that didn't come about. So it came about naturally. Was it just through him coming to you or how did that even grow? Well, and also um, one thing about that column situation that just ticked off in my brain and now I Tell can me. not remember. Oh, people were saying, oh, she's gone through so much growth on the show. No, 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 I haven't. I haven't you seen different aspects of my personality? I haven't grown as the, this person because people are like, oh, she's so much nicer now. No, it's not that I'm not nice. It's just that you've saw different aspects of my personality. But the thing with Michael was... Interesting. That's a very good point. Yeah, it's just different aspects. Like, yeah, I've, different aspects, I'm very... You don't really grow like that in a month and a half or two months. I'm not going to grow. Like, Interesting. I'm not going to grow in that sort of situation. You yeah, know? because there were a lot of characters either on your season or other seasons where I'm just like, who is this? But then you come out and we love you. Yeah. And then we're like, growth, growth, growth. But is it really growth? It's just different aspects yeah. of a person you because don't you know. don't really grow like that in two months anyways. Yeah. But just you're being edited differently for there's us to see if you like your... Yeah. 12 people, there's six couples. You can't... You don't get to know somebody mm. and it's all of heavily about dating. So you don't see what I'm like with my friends on the show with Anna and you one day. You don't see what I'm like in the morning. You don't see anything other than me in a dating situation. Mm. And I'm not nice in a dating situation. I can't lie to you. I'm not nice in a dating situation, but every other situation, I'm good. You're just um, Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a good friend though. I'm a good friend. Like, yeah, I was no, I don't think anyone on the show would have anything bad to say about me now. <laughs> okay cool michael tell me okay so you were saying you said how did yeah how did that spark right, even okay. take place so i went on the show and like i'm not a very good data so mm. i don't know why i said yes actually i got asked on instagram and i just thought what an experience why not mm. but i'm not a good data i don't i'm very picky i don't particularly like people i find it hard to gel so i got in there and i was like what have i done here what have i done like, I don't like anyone, not interested, cool. I'll last a week and then I'll go. Mm. And I remember, cause you used to get pulled out a couple of times a day just to check you out, all right, what are your thoughts? What's going on? Give us all the gossip kind of thing. And they were like, you do realize what show you've come on? And I was like, yeah, I do. And they were like, well, what are you doing? And I was mm -hmm. like, um, I don't know. Can you not like bring someone in that I like? And then Curtis and Tommy come in and I was like, nah. And they were like, right, come on. There's eight guys. Because at one point, Tommy liked you. Um, was it right at the beginning, the first week or something like that? And you were like, I'm not going to be somebody's second option. Yes. No. Yes. So I, I'm not I'm not sure if he actually liked us or whatever. But basically, I think he had to pick between. Right. Okay. That makes people. sense. Yeah. I think this was before Molly came in as well. Yeah. I believe. Um, And I was just one of those options. Right. And I was just like, we didn't, we didn't match. We weren't matched yeah. at all. Um. But yeah, and I remember being pulled out and they were like, yeah, you know, you know what this is? What are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. And they were like, right, okay, what we're going to do is, um, and I'm so sorry to those producers because that was a friggin' nightmare. But they were like, what we're going to do, there was like a lineup of the pictures of the boys, pictures of the girls. And we're like, right, okay, we're going to rate them out of 10. Mm. And every day we'll go along, rate them out of 10, see how you feel. And I was like, okay. And then uh, we got Michael to a 6.5. And I actually did grow a really good friendship with Michael. So I was like, yeah, actually, this guy's cool. Like, I really like him. Mm. So why not? Let's just do it. But that's me in relationships anyway. I sort of grow. I don't look at someone and go, wow, like, you're amazing. Like, I want to couple up with you. That's not my vibe at all. Oh, it's not. So no? it's not. My, okay. So, you... so I feel like it was just a reflection of what I'm like in real life as well. The dumping of you one day obviously set the villa off. But oh, weird. You weird doesn't really mean that much at this point, though, does it? <laughs> And, you know, you and Anna were obviously like, you know, being good friends for your one day at the time. And then obviously you and Danny kicked off like 
did more happen that we didn't see? Or was it just because I feel like you guys weren't really gelling with Arabella and then the next day you guys were like talking. So did like producers come in or did they like, was there more beef? Yeah. Because it came across to me as if quite disjointed as a Love Island fanatic. Yeah. yeah so me and Anna, me, this is why we're st- like we're still really close. We're just right for our friends. Mm. So I don't care if somebody thinks I'm immature or whatever. What I didn't like about that situation was it was deceitful what had happened. Mm. So y- yeah, we know the concept of Love Island, but don't pretend to that girl that you're going to pick her and then don't. And now she's leaving. Mm. It just wasn't cute. I believe in being honest, being straight up. And it just wasn't that. And then what had happened with the situation, obviously it kicked off major. Um, and it, it mustn't have been nice for Arabella being in that environment. Because real, really, is it her fault? It was, it, was, it was his fault. And, but also, you're not around your friends. You're not your f- around your family. You're around these big personalities and they don't like you. Like it must have been a lot. So I remember it just being like, right guys come on let's move on from it now mm. this is like this is the way that the for like the format is kind of thing let's move on from it and me and Anna are like we're not that immature we're like yeah we'll drop it we'll drop it and so that's when you saw the next day everyone was fine everyone was fine but it wasn't that I was fine I was still hurt mm. because you one day like I wanted that girl to be with me till the end because if it wasn't for her I wouldn't have been able to get through the first few weeks because mm. me and her were so tight like so tight mm. Like I, I was genuinely gutted when she left. So I was still wounded, but I was conducting myself just a bit better. Cause obviously I don't want to make somebody feel shit in the villa. I don't, that, that was never be my intention, you know? And so we just squashed it. And that's probably why it looked disjointed cause there was more that happened sort of behind the scenes. It but did look, you, yeah. you saw everything kick off, but you just didn't see the bit where it was like, come on guys that's why that's why obviously i see you as one of those legends on your sh- on your season because you just weren't afraid of any confrontation like when you got up and walked to him in the kitchen as well that was just like amber is just ready like she's just ready to go again <laughs> my girl is not she just she's she just always on 10 and it's just like you don't have to get ready you stay ready yeah like you're just right if, if it happens like i'm i'm gonna like it's you're not also afraid to give advice to people like i remember there was a comment there were you probably probably don't remember this i just thought the scene was interesting when you were sitting with maura and molly and anna on beanbags Mm -hmm. and molly was upset with maura that you know maura was flirting with tommy at Mm -hmm. this time and molly wanted maura to come and talk to her Mm -hmm. beforehand and maura didn't understand why she would need to do that and then you were much very supporting molly and like this is what yeah why can't you relay that information to her just a suggestion that you should have pulled Molly aside and just said no. that immediately. No. I'm sorry, but I don't need to ask Molly May's permission. It's been five days. It's been it's been a week. Yeah, but day. they're not in a relationship. They're not in a relationship, but not no. in, nobody here has in a relationship. No, I'm, I've not even spoke to but the you're rest saying of the that bo- you've got a connection. Yeah, I do. So just relay that to her. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Why can't you just do that? And of course, that conversation directly wasn't pertaining to you but you were still very much like this is how i feel i want to say it because yeah. this is the right thing that you should have done yeah but this is why i also think you and anna have in common because she did the same thing for you but it was just interesting to see that conversation there that maura wasn't getting that point and then you were trying to like hello like this is why you're not getting it why yeah. would you not just it's from, interesting for me the most important thing from being in there or from my whole life is i like things to be right and to be fair mm. and that's why when you see is getting angry or you see is doing whatever it's because i don't i feel like there's some injustice going on and i do not like but what i find interesting and i think you said this on the show as well is that when you see others going through stuff yeah you get upset Mm -hmm. irritated Mm -hmm. but when it pertains to you yeah or when someone does it to you yeah you 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 either shy away not really shy away because you're afraid but you're just like no yeah and why is there a disparity in that behavior. I know we're gonna to go to some psychological <laughs> deep, like it's crazy it's therapy like, session. I, I, I know, but like, why? Like, just the way my mind, mind thinks. But why do you behave differently towards when someone does it to you as opposed to when you see it go through to other people? Do you have any ideas? To do you know what? I don't really have an idea, but right. all like all I can think of is is that I'm robust. Mm. I'm robust. I'm fine. So like, whatever happened to me? Yeah, people thought I was heartbroken. I wasn't. I'm robust. I can get through anything other people i just want to cuddle them like your amy's i don't want we want to be mean to mm. you because i don't want you to have to experience that so i'm protective mm. like you one day she's not confrontational i want to protect her like i just like to protect my friends like i 
that's just something for me that I like to do because I'm I can deal with this shit. I'm not scared of people. Like mm-hmm. when you're saying I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid of. Yeah, I, I don't think you're, you're afraid. You you're just defensive of your friends. Yeah. But then when it comes to you, you're just like I'll be fine. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it I is. I don't know why. I don't know where that I just find it from. interesting. Yeah. I it's don't know where that comes from, but yeah. Casa Amor was insane. <laughs> Your Casa Amor. No comment. No, I'm just kidding. Your I don't Casa want to talk Amor. about Casa Amor. <laughs> Your Casa Amor was... <laughs> crazy like i've rewatched that scene so many times they put some dramatic music behind it the scenes of everyone's know, faces because that that was another episode that i watched when i come out because my mom was saying she was crying and and i was thinking it wasn't that freaking bad it wasn't that bad so i watched the episode and the music was it like a rendition of like beyonce it was, it was like, like destiny child's um, yeah destiny child survivor survivor like in like some yeah it's like a different band i actually found the, I, I found the band that does that song and i, and I listened to that song because yeah. it's such a good song but the way they did it i was thinking this must have just been very anti not anti-climatic but very different for you guys yeah because there's no music yeah for you guys no there's no music i mean it wasn't anti-climatic mm. because it was like, right it was anti-climatic what the hell is going on but it looked worse than what it was mm. and i felt sorry for my family having to watch that thinking that i'm like now distraught when really i don't like that it was, was it was for me it was more embar- embarrassing so your first when you came out and you saw him with I joanna kn- so the thing is i knew i knew and i don't want to give away love island secrets because i like the magic of the show right but so you already had an idea I was last in line, right? So everybody walks in okay, the line, right? Okay, that makes right? sense. Fine, that makes and sense. And I'm not daft. I know what's going on, right? I'm the last person in the line. Everybody's walking in. I can hear the claps in the villa. Oh, lovely, lovely, great. And it's about two hours. I'm outside and I'm like, something's gone wrong here. Why am I last? Why am I last? Something, I don't know what, but That's something point, is actually. going on, right? And I don't know if everybody that was in Castle Morph has that thought process, but I definitely was like... What they should have done is when all of you are going back to the main villa, all of you individually get separated. Yeah. So you don't know that there's an order. Yeah. You're probably thinking you're the first one to go, but really you're the last. Yeah. You don't know that Anna's gone yeah. already. That's now what they should have done. There you go. That's a tip. That's a tip for you guys. Hire them. You like, already know you want to. Like, <laughs> so many, that's just one of so many ideas that I have for this yeah. insane this show. So that would be amazing. Because I had this thought in my brain, like, something's gone wrong. So when I'm like that, I'm like, I've got time to just compose myself. Mm. I can handle whatever I'm walking out to. I remember they were like, when you walk into the villa, because there's these like wooden slots and you can see through them into the... Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, what's yeah, that yeah. place called? The fire pit. The fire pit. You could see into the fire pit. And we're like, just look forward, don't look to the side. Well, why would you say something like that to someone like me? Because now I'm going to have to look to the side. And you looked so to the side. So I walked out and I looked straight yeah. away. I looked and I was like, right, you've got 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds to just figure yourself out. What's that? What is um, either Megan the Stallion or Rana? you just got to pretend that you're that girl. And I was mm. like, right, I'm just going to pretend I'm that girl. Because I am so... Emotions must have been sky high. But it's just like, because even for me, I'm quite a confident person. Walking out in front of that many people, was there like 24 islanders mm-hmm. at this point? Because everyone's together. It's intense. There's six girls that I don't know. The boys are all looking sheepish. There's, yeah, it was just a lot. It was a lot. And then, of course, when it came to the beef, with, and then Anna was confronting Michael and stuff like that. And yeah. I think you had a... No, it wasn't really a bad conversation, but then you had a conversation with Maura. Um, even I know scenes that you've probably forgotten. That's yeah, how I'm like, I'm just, I'm trying to I don't know if you guys have, brain. yeah, the way I'm pulling them up, you're like, what yeah. the fuck are you talking about, Maura? Yeah. Like, yeah. then you had a conversation with it's Maura. It's so long ago that I'm like, but I can remember. I can it's remember. so long ago. Yeah. It's like 2019. I know. Pre-COVID, like, it's <laughs> crazy. Um, then you had a conversation with Maura and you kind of butted heads with her because you're just not really butted heads, but you were just like, to her, like, why are you guys still friends with him? Or why didn't you back me in person? You didn't do that enough for me. Mm. Uh, and I find that annoying. And then, of course, Anna was the one who backed you. Mm. And like, I don't know, what goes through your head through that? And then Joanna came in and you called her dead ting and stuff like that. So, like, when it comes to that whole post Casa Amor drama, was there anything else that we didn't see? 
think everything was covered. Everything was covered. From off the top of my head, everything was covered. But producers must me. have loved you guys. They must have been like, look at all this content we have. Well, I think I think they just love me because I was just chaotic. You don't mm. see those sunglasses. You're a knob. Da, 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 da. I was always doing th- something. Even if I, the dating wasn't mm. going well, I was always doing something mm. with somebody. Um, but yeah, that those episodes were... Yeah, I think from what I watched, everything was covered. Obviously, the dead thing was covered. That was so funny. I th- I still think it's funny. It's not my proudest moment because obviously people think it's the worst thing. That I mean, the month you're just day. you're just. It was was it not the same day? It was that night. That. Yeah, was, I had just walked out. So I'd what, be saying something on my mouth. Yeah, that, uh, that I don't post, really really feel, but you're just you angry. Are, Joanna's obviously everybody on the. She's line a stunning girl. Yeah, Joanna's beautiful. Joanna's beautiful, but you've got to think like. All of the heightened emotions. I've been waiting outside for two hours. I've been away from them for four days, not knowing what's going on. You know that you've been playing games. What's been going on? Your mind's mm. doing a madness. And then to walk out in front of those people, it's nerve wracking. And then for him to say he's shocked and he was just rude. I don't think dead thing was the worst thing to say. And you know, if somebody said that about me and it was the roles were reversed, I would get it. I'd be like, I understand why you were mm. saying that. Not that you think that about me. But I can understand the hurt, where the hurt's coming from. Yeah. And I still, to this day, people still talk about that and like, oh, you are immature. Da, da, da. I don't think I don't think you were immature. It's not immature. It's just, it's one of those situations. It's just pretty shit for me. Yeah, you know? I mean, I mean, not even just that scene, but the entire time in the villa, like, I don't see, I don't see you and Anna, like, I don't see, and specifically you, I don't see you as being immature. Yeah. Also. I don't. What people have to remember is I was 21 years of age. Mm. Why would I not be immature? Do but, you know what I mean? R- I don't understand this whole maturity thing. Like being mature is actually not a flex. I did it for a little while and it's boring. Mm. I want to be immature for as long as I can until I'm 40 and it's not cute anymore. Being immature on that show where it's it's a it's a trash TV show. Not, do you know what? That expression. I'm not calling it trash. trash. (laughs) But it's like one of those. Well, the sun just says, "Yeah, I'm gonna call it trash." (laughs) That's what it's gonna gonna happen. I know. Screaming. Um, But yeah, it's like one of those like reality TV programs. Like it's not. We're not there for a docu series on anything. It's not a serious topic. But I get that quite often, the whole immature thing. But this is what I don't get because, yeah, you're young and 21 and whatever. Mm -hmm. But like we've had people like Maura who raised her voice many times in that villa, justified or not. She obviously was quite aggressive with stuff and like the way Tom was doing stuff. And I don't see her getting that immature label. And she was, I believe, 26, 27 at the time or uh, 28. Yeah, she was. was, I remember there was a big age gap between me and her. Right. Right. There's an age gap. And... uh, you know, I don't see her getting any maturity considering that she actually is of an age that you should be mature. Yeah. So I just think the disparity of how girls, depending on the phenotype and race, the way it gets portrayed everywhere, because everyone always, I've seen so many comments of people saying you've been immature on the show, but I don't, I, I, I don't see it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's things where I look and I'm like, you could have delivered that a bit nicer, but immature, I don't think so. I really don't I just think, think so. that I, th- yeah. I think it's a different personality. It's just a different personality. Just because I'm confrontational doesn't mean I'm immature. That's just my personality type. I just think when it comes to ethnic girls on shows like this, there's a, such a it's so easy to attach them to being bitchy or being catty or immature, or whatever yeah. like that. It's so easy. Yeah. But white girls don't get that stick as much. Like Georgia Steele was incredibly immature on, on her season, but like post that show, I didn't see that well attached to her as yeah. much. I, d- I, so do... I just find it interesting. I, I I find it hard to talk about because the minute that you talk about it, it's you're pulling the race card or you're doing this, you're doing that. Right. So but, I ra- just, but everything it's got to, race has got to do with everything. Yeah. So I let other people talk about it, and I just don't have that much to say because right. I just can't be honest with this whole race card thing. However, I do. Yeah, because they love to say you're pulling the race card. Yeah, all, no, all the, the time. time. I open my mouth. It's you pulling the race card. Like yeah. I do anything. It's pulling the race card. No, it's not even that. It's just like. Yeah, I just can't talk about it because mm. I think that I'm held to a higher standard than a lot of people. I need to be mature. I need to be calm 24-7. I can't say someone's a dead thing because that's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, you're 21 on the show. Like, even when you... I didn't think you were 21 on the show. I yeah. thought you were like 25. Yeah, no, I'm so young. I was so young. I had no life experience. Mm. Like, I lived in Newcastle my whole life. I wasn't exposed to anything. Like, I just worked in a beauty salon. So, like... Why would you expect us to be the most mature person with this 
great perspective on life. I'm not going to be that. Mm. And also, I agree with you. I don't think I was that immature. But no, even if weren't. I was, what is the big deal? Mm. Is it really that groundbreaking? No, that, because you're 21. You know, headline, 21-year-old is immature. Shock. If some 18-year-old girl, 21-year-old girl was being immature, I wouldn't expect that from them. Mm. But it's the standard that I'm held to where I've got to be this all the time. I've got to be... Because I remember thinking, and especially in that whole Castor Mo situation, I cannot kick off in the way that I want to. I thought you were going to. I was at Jokaris, this girl is yeah. about to explode the villa. And yeah, I kick off sometimes, but when shit happens to me, I'm fine. No, no. But you didn't. In my head, I thought. Very composed. Yeah. Very composed. Over it, so let people be hurt instead of being like people give you why, dirty looks why, and why, comments. Why are you raising your voice at this? Like, I'm absolutely honestly, not. This is not are, me like, raising my voice. Right. I thought, if you kick off how you want to kick off, curtains are closed, done. Mm. No, 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 no. And I could already grasp what, like, that the whole Danny and Arabella kickoff was a shock. And that was about level four on the Richter scale of Amber's mess. So in that situation, I just was like, keep it together. Keep it together. At the end of the day, it's not that bad. He's got his opinion. With, I think it's wildly incorrect. Keep it together. But I find that when you see me crying it's not because i'm sad you're gonna because... cry now what i thought you're gonna cry now i thought you were about i thought you were about that with the thumbnail no. just you crying yeah. like this <laughs> no so but when you see me crying i think it's hay fever there's a little okay but i'm not we, crying. i thought your voice was shaking i was like no no, no no i ain't gonna have tissues for you you can no, cry no, baby no, no. i ain't gonna have tissues no no i'm good right but when i'm crying it's out of frustration rather than mm. out of pure upset because i'm thinking I need to cry because I need to channel this energy somewhere mm -hmm. else to so just kicking off in anger. And then luckily, Anna had my back and said exactly what, you what to needed say. to be said. So then I'd have to do nothing. What did I have to do? Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Because she was there, she had my back. Are there any exclusives from that season that we don't know about? Or anything that happened on that season pertaining to you or not? Um, Because so you know I, I want to know. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> you know I want to know. So I have to literally write things down, otherwise my brain will forget. Come on, librarian. Um, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. Come on, author. So she is actually an author. Yeah, yeah. so we're going to get into that later. Yeah, we will. Because that's, yeah, we'll get into that. Um, One thing that happened was Ovi, well, everybody wanted to leave. Everybody had periods of time when mm. they wanted to leave. I wanted to leave three times. After Castle Moore, I was single. It's horrendous. So when I watched your episode with Rachel and she was talking about being single and it's horrendous. It's horrible when everybody's coupled up. Yeah. So I was like, that's when I wanted to leave. Because I was like, it's not enjoyable. You're doing challenges where it's in a couple and you're just stood there like an idiot. Like, what am I even doing here? Um, but there was a point where Ovi wanted to leave. I think it was pre-season, basketball pre-season. Mm. And he was like, I've done what I wanted to do on here. I've made great friends. I'm ready to go. And um, nobody could stop that boy. I didn't know. I was unaware at the time. No one could stop that boy. And I remember... Well, man, I should say he's a he's a big, he's a man. He's not a boy, but you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, he's pretty tall. Um, and I remember being pulled out, and I was like, "What have I done now, man? What's going on?" And they were like, "You you, ha you have to try and get over you to stay." And I was like, "Why do you think, why do you think I'll be able to do that?" And they were like, "You the I feel we feel like you're the only person that he's going to listen to." And so I said, "Well, I can see what I can do, but he's a big man. Mm. He, if he wants to leave, then he wants to leave. What am I going to say?" Absolutely nothing. So I remember I sat with them and I said, "Like I heard that you want to go. Like what's going on?" And he's like, "Well, I just I like to train in my preseason and I like to do this, that, and the other, and I'm just not enjoying it anymore." And I just said, "Well, what would make this experience better for you?" And he said, um, "If I could train." And I said, "Well, what about if they get a basketball hoop and a bas like a." basketball <laughs> oh he was playing with it i yeah. heard the story and he would yeah and okay. i and i said how would you feel about that and he said well it would make things but i'm not sure if it would change okay and I so went that was the, your idea i then. went to the producers and i went interesting how would you feel interesting if you got a basketball and a hoop and they were like mm. no and i was like well you say goodbye to him then because he's not gonna stay nothing's gonna make him stay and then the next day there was a hoop and a basketball and on lunch times and whenever we had any so Fair when time. where when was this in the timeline? To what quite towards the end. Quite towards the end. Quite towards the end. Was this before I, India came in? 
I think I think it was before India came in. Okay, yeah. well that makes sense. I think it was in be- that in between the time. Yeah. Um, anything else? I know you're running through your head, and you might not know anything else, but. <laughs> I've just thought of something, but I'm not sure if I should say it or not. You can say it if you want, and then if you don't want to out, I can just edit it out. So it's entirely up to you. <laughs> so, like a day before the final, okay. me and Greg had the biggest bust up you could ever imagine. Like, didn't want to know each other. Like, what Really? I can't remember what it's about now. Right. But, like, something stupid. Something ridiculous. And we had the biggest bust up ever. And we're like, nah. We're not doing this. It's done. Nah, 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 nah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, like a long day And then, wow, that must have been a lot to deal with. It was a lot. It was a lot. Did the producers come in and like calm you guys down? Or was it you guys just calm down on your own? No, we ended up being separated. And then we came back together because we did we did like each other at the time. Right. I guess so we're like, you lows. know what? There's two days left. Let's just get through it. It'll be good. And then on the day of the final, oh, we'll probably come forth. It'll be good. Like, what a good run that we had. Like, you've just came in sick top two we're going we're looking at each other like what's going on and then you guys just won yeah that is so funny wild absolutely wild but yeah that's another i don't think i've ever told anyone that well exclusive here guys exclusive from love island legend yeah amber what were your thoughts i'm gonna go back to love island just quickly what were your thoughts when it came to joanna or michael and caroline said that you know one of them had to um be dumped from the villa and then Joanna grabbed her by the thing, grabbed him by the thing, was like, you better not be. Blah, blah, blah. If you found what you want, you better leave my big lily on. It's your like. What? I'm, I'm serious, Dan. No, and I saw your face in the thing, in the show, and what like, did that do? everyone, you were just like looking like, oof, like everybody was a bit shocked when she grabbed his face like that. And then he didn't end up leaving with her. So, how, like, what were, you, what were your thoughts when, when, when the, all that was happening? Because you must have been like, Calm. Well, I remember you must have been I like, was with calm. I would have been screaming yeah. like, are you dumb? Yeah. Like, but you, I, that I distinctly remember my face because people used to send it to us and I'm just stood there and I'm like, I like doing this sort of smooth yeah. thing. Oh my God. He sent word. I found what I'm looking for, but he never said he was going to leave. Because I was with Ovi. So yeah. I was like, oh, you guys are just friends. We didn't know that people loved us as a, as, as a Everybody friendship. Everybody wanted you guys together. We had no idea. Everyone. We had no Even idea. I wanted it. And I feel like you guys would have been, but like, if it's not there, it's not there. Do you and know it, what I mean? And it just wasn't. It was just friends. It just wasn't. Mm. And it's just not. Me and him get along really good as friends, but he's calm and collected and um, chaos. Mm. And so it, in a relationship situation, it just wouldn't be cool. No. Some people are just nice as friends. Mm. I like having him as a friend. I think, there's something for me that I love my friends. I love my friendships. I like keeping that as a friendship and it always would be a friendship. And that's just what it should be. And it be. never was anything uh, like to us. It was never anything else until people. He was, he kind of protected you as well with the whole like Michael situation. Yeah. And when things were going up, you would go to OV to be like, tell him to yeah. like calm and things down. In that moment we were coupled up. So I thought we would be in the bottom two. So when mm. we weren't, I was shocked. But then I was kind of like, I was a little bit like, well, look what happens yeah. when you mess with me. I would be the it. same. Do you know what uh, I mean? I would it's be just, that. That's me. I would have been like, like, like that's like, karma. That's karma for you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then, but that situation was wild. And I thought he was going to leave with that. And then he didn't. And it was just, it was mad. That was mad. Very interesting because, you know, she came in with him. They were going to be a couple now, you know, and you were going to be single and vulnerable and whatever. And then he was going back and forth with his feelings. And, you know, he didn't know but if he still wanted to do. But people say wasn't. People say that he wasn't going back and forth. No, he definitely was. He was. Because you could have actually picked him again between him and Gregory. Yeah. But, but apparently that was all. He That wasn't really him thinking that. That was him being told to do that. Oh, by producers. Yeah, somebody mentioned that to me. Interesting. In some sort of interview situation, we're like, oh, how do you feel about him saying this? And I was like, well, I don't know what his relationship mm. was like with producers. Maybe it was. Um, I, I thought his reasons was just so interesting. Like that, I feel like there was a lot of gaslighting there. And just like, what I mean by that is like undermining, a lot of people use this word, I mean by like undermining or qu- making you question yourself that maybe I wasn't as communicative with somebody. Maybe, maybe yeah. I shouldn't have been. And I feel like his excuse was weird yeah it didn't make sense to me because it's like well you guys are living together you're in practically 
four walls together. Yeah. So if somebody's not being as communicative to you, how much more do you want her to say something? Like, how much more do you want someone to speak to you? Like, if they're not being as communicative. So his reasoning to like, was beyond weird. And I think that's why I was so upset and like in chaos, like in not chaos, but why I was like just a bit confused because mm. if he had a sat there and said, I like this girl and that's why I chose her, cool. I know what I came on the show for. I know that this is a possibility. Fine. But it's like, you did this and you did that and you, you, you and you were not like this and you were chaos and you. Prody, and I was like, yeah. well, I know I can be a bit of a bitch, but come on. Like, that's what I mean. Put me a break. That's <laughs> what I mean. I feel like you. That's, that's the word that would describe you, the theme of this interview, composed. I feel like you were very composed. Do you think? When it came to him, yeah, I thought it was, you thought you were very composed. You could yeah. have been very combative. I feel like you were more pissed off with the Arabella situation in oh, one day, yeah. as opposed to what this man is doing for you after he's dragged on for four weeks. Yeah. And I feel like Anna was giving the energy that I thought you would give. But yeah. that's what I was just like, you're very composed with it because his reasons also didn't make sense. Yeah. Like it just didn't. That's why I think that's why I think another reason for why I feel like you won the show because you were the damsel in distress. You were with this guy and his reasoning made zero sense. People saw him gaslighting you mm -mm. and then the, you just you won mm. out of nowhere. Now, when it comes to Gregory yes. and <laughs> you guys, and you guys obviously won the show and everything ended between you two. And the I've, quickest ever breakup. Yeah. The quickest ever. I'll ha I'll take that title as well. Five weeks. From winners, yeah. Was it, was it five weeks? I don't weeks? even know. Was it five weeks? I feel like something I saw something like saying five Four, weeks. Four, five weeks, I think. Four, Very five soon. weeks. Uh, so when it came to all of that, how were you feeling during the cusp of it ending? Or it ended and then everyone's reaction, that whole bubble of that just that time period it was how really bad yeah it was really bad um i think because there's so much pressure and expectation on you mm. to like be this couple when really we weren't a couple we barely even knew each other he had been in there for two weeks one week since the end mm. i didn't know this guy and this guy didn't know me like cool what cute on a tv show but realistically looking at me and greg do you think that we're well matched no we're not in any stretch of the imagination. We're just not. And that's fine. But it was this expectation and pressure. I love anyone who's you've got to be together. You've got to like be in a relationship. And it just didn't, it just mm. wasn't working. And like being in the public eye now, it's hard to know how to nav navigate that. Mm. How the hell do you, everybody wants me to be with this guy. It's probably not working. What, what, what do we do about this situation? Um, And yeah, I guess, when it all came out, I could have been more supportive towards him. I will say that. However, I don't think it's true that I sent my followers to him to send him and his family death threats because that's not true no. at all. I would never, ever do that. I probably didn't say enough. However, I was also dealing with it myself because I had people in my DMs, you know. I had judgment, I had headlines that I had to deal with, people wanting interviews with us, not wanting to sort of leave the house. I had that to deal with as well. So like, I wanna be softer on myself because I do think like, maybe you should have spoke out a bit more, but I was dealing with it equally as he was. Exactly. I Both was. of you were dealing with it in your own kind of way. Do you know, like, you know, just cause it ended over text, that doesn't make him ho horrible. Mm. And I'm sorry that those crazy people were like her towards him. Mm. But to say that I solicited that, I didn't. Yeah, it's very unfair. Yeah. Because you have no control over what people you, say. You, so why act like you would have control? People, it doesn't matter what you did. People should not have been sending death threats at all. No. You could have been cheating. We could have been together for two years. It doesn't. Completely agree. Do you know? It doesn't mm -hmm. warrant for it at all, regardless. Interesting, because you said right now that, you know, you guys weren't really a fit or, you know, and people, like, as I said, I don't think you guys were fit either. Yeah. Um, he did say on a podcast a couple of weeks, I don't know when it was, a couple of weeks ago, that his eye was never on you. His eye was on a different girl on the villa. Um, and that was Lucy. Lucy? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> and he said in this podcast, I literally... Which podcast? So I don't know what the name is and I'm not going to give air to the name of it because okay. I don't even know what the name of the podcast was, but um, I read it up on it two days ago. He said, uh, you know... Amber wasn't the first one on his list or somebody like that, yeah. which is, which, and he's echoing your point, which yeah. is you weren't 
he probably wasn't going to be on your first list no. either if there was a lineup of guys. Yeah. Hence why, you know, it only were, you only you guys were only together because of the format and the structure yeah. of the show. It was and him, him coming in and you're the only single girl left. Like, I, like so I, I get why it would collapse. It makes really, it makes sense. It collapsed um, so quickly. But it, it, that, the quickness of your collapse makes complete sense because yeah. you guys were never matched in the first place. No. Do you know what I mean? No. So I had an, I had an, like he had the option of like, I was one of the only single ones and I had the option either go back with this guy who or clearly lose. Basically, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have won without him and you wouldn't have won without you. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you guys needed that or kind of- Or go with this fresh person. Yeah. And I thought, well, I, I like him. I don't hate him. Mm. Like I'm not, he's not my type, but I'll pick him. Mm. Why not? But, but what, really, when it, when it came to that recoupling, I remember being so upset because I was like, I don't know him yet. I don't know if I want to pick him. No, but I'm glad you picked him over Michael. Yeah, yeah, I'll pick him every that, time, but no, I still wanted to I'm be glad with Ovi. You did. I still wanted to be coupled up with Ovi. Yeah. That's what I wanted. Forget about those two, but that's not that's not the way it mm. worked for me. Obviously, India got to pick first, mm. and then I had to pick mm. between oh, those interesting. two. Okay. And no disrespect to Michael, but I had to pick between the best of a bad bunch at the time. Obviously, Michael was horrible to us, so it was the best it's of a bad justified. situation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, And so I'm not... Is anyone shocked that it collapsed so quickly? No, I think because you guys won and it happened, the quickness, I mean, it was like, oh my God, because yeah. we're, we're not watching it from an edited, we're watching from an edited perspective. Yeah. So it looked all pretty and prince and princess, and you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, he did say that Lucy was the one because, you know, she's a surfer, she does all of this like sports related stuff and he's a sports person. Yeah. That his eye was really on her. So I guess, you know, he wanted to go with her. And I feel like maybe as a couple, they would have just suited better because, you know, Lucy and yeah, I just I just find it to be I didn't when he said Lucy I was laughing I was just thinking, okay like you know I'm I'm not surprised but yeah. Sp <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah. Anyway. Yes. Um. No. <laughs> Moving on. No, but one quick thing. Okay. That whole cast wanted her. The whole male, mm. the whole group wanted her. Everybody's top choice was her. How many people applied? A lot. Because every guy that I've been around isn't into that type of girl. And mm. I remember Anna saying the same. We've never known this many people. Just want that. It, I remember us feeling like we were like, are we not cute? It's like, are we not? That's why this show is dangerous because they- Even us, yeah. and it's, we're not the ones that get it the worst. I'm not the one that gets it the worst. Publicly, yeah. And I think it's hard in the casting process. And I don't necessarily think that it's the producer's fault. I think it's the honesty of the people that they're casting. I think they're not being honest about their preferences. No, they're not. They're yeah, not. that's also a problem. That's they're also not. a variable, yeah. Because I believe that the producers try to because they don't just want everybody to want one person because that's not good television mm. it's not maybe two people love triangle ooh, but i genuinely don't think that they would want six or seven guys to want the same person that's not what makes the show what it is so i think it's people going on the show not being honest about their preferences you know interesting speaking of lucy and that whole you want a situation that went obviously i spoke to anna about it a couple of weeks ago no, and yeah. you want to spoke on it multiple times, so it's not yeah. as if anybody's not gossip. I was there; I saw it firsthand. So it's disgusting behavior. Yeah, <laughs> and you were obviously somebody just like her who were very vocal about it when it all went on. And she said, uh, "Anna, that she, you know, she she saw it there." So did you also see her saying stuff or refusing? Yeah, I was to pronounce the one that name? put out the tweet. I was the one that put out the tweet. You wanted him to put out the tweet. It was me that put out the tweet because I was sat there. Right. Because I was the one that had something to say about it. Mm -hmm. Not you one day. And so that's another injustice thing for me that I don't like. Calling me a bully if you want because I know that I c called you out a couple of times. But then calling you one day a bully made zero sense. Don't call someone that never said two words to you mm -hmm. a bully. She's always bullied you. I don't like that at all. And so I remember the situation was what on the day bed and it was three weeks in. Um, I know she's from like Cornwall or whatever and everyone's called Lucy and Sophie and Rebecca. But it's three weeks now. You one day is not a hard word no. to pronounce. I come from Newcastle. I'm not around. I'm from a predominantly white area. Mm. Why is it that I can easily say it and everybody here can easily say it and you're making a big deal out of it? I don't like that in my head. I don't like that. 
And then the conversation went um, something along the lines of, can I call you why? Because I'm just not getting it. Not getting what? And I said, well, can I call you her? Are you going to like that? And she was like, what? And she didn't understand. And you only didn't say anything in that situation, which I'm glad that she didn't because it should, no, it was better for her not to. But I was just thinking, she bullied you. She bullied you. You were the one that had the issues with her name and blah, 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 blah. It's not, it's just not true mm. at all. It's just not true. And so that's why I put it out there because I don't, I don't really like to put out what people have said or whatever. But in that situation, I was like, I'm not going to have you say that you are, there was a bully because she's actually not mm. at all. So let's just get it straight. This is the probably one of the few interactions that you had with her and you were rude to her. So any rudeness back to you was kind of justified in my opinion. Definitely. And what were you one day saying back? Well, she wasn't even being rude. She was just telling the truth. No. This is what you did to me. And, and that's your one day's vibe. Your one day's like mm. calm and composed way more than I am. So I know she's not a bully, mm. you know? It's just weird that she would say that. I don't know. I just find that to be bizarre. It, it was. It, it was. The whole thing was just mad, to be honest. The whole thing with her was just mad as well. Because she didn't want to be friends with the girls. Um, Again, I said, this, I said this to Anna. Like, I genuinely felt like she just didn't want to be friends with girls that are not white. And that's just what I... I'd like, you know, it's just an assumption. Because I've been through college. Uh, like, my, my, um, my secondary school was very black. Yeah. But my college was the opposite. It was white, sixth form, whatever. And I just, you just feel like when you're in a group with a white friends that you're just not accepted. That's just my own perception. Yeah. Or you just feel like they don't treat you the same. They don't see you as equal, but it's so passive and not in your face. That you can't see anything about it. You can't see anything about it. And when you try to do, you get get gaslighted about it immediately. And I feel like it happens a lot. So when she kept saying, I'm just not a girl's girl, I'm not a girl's girl and stuff like that. But then she's being besties with Maura and, you know, not you three. I was just like, "Mm, maybe it's an assumption. I don't know. I never thought of it like that. You know, you're an outsider looking in, so you look at it from a different perspective. I didn't look at it like that. I just thought she was difficult at the Mm. time. I don't know. I haven't really sat and thought about it because it's the first time that it's I've just in, thought about yeah, that. just dynamics. But yeah, it's it could be subconscious from her as well, or it could be subconscious maybe, from anyone. Who knows? But maybe um, I just remember that we were bullying her. That was the thing for bullies. Mm. It's like no, we want to be like I love. I'm a girls' girl. I want to be friends with girls. I love having fun with girls. So the fact that I'm not friends with one is just like it doesn't sit well with me. Mm. to say that we're bullying her like no she didn't want to be friends with us so if she's sitting by herself that's because she wants to sit by herself we can't force someone to be friends with us mm. we tried it and it ended in tears so mm. I, I, i'm staying away i'm not gonna force you to be my friend i want you mm. to be happy so we'll crack on and you can crack on doing what you want to do and yeah that was just very odd i've never come across anyone like that yeah. i've come across girls that say they don't want drama but someone like that i've never Never came across anyone like that. It was just interesting to see. And then, you know, with Maura giving the flowers publicly, I thought it was an absolute mess. And I know you would agree. Perfectly timed or bad timing? Perfectly timed or intentional or... I don't know. I think it was intentional. I think it's too coincidental that you're giving her flowers now. Like, why are you randomly giving your friend flowers? Yeah. For what? And I think I've... When she was 110% in the wrong in that situation, you know, we're dealing with a form of racism here... How is she in? Why would one deserve flowers of being called out for being racist? Yeah. I don't understand it. Yeah. And I think there's a fine line between, um, and I think this for myself as well, between people um, trolling you and people calling you out on something that you've said that's wrong. Because mm. my perspective and my opinions are ever changing because I put things out there and people will go underneath reply, reply, and I'll go, actually, that's a fair point. So you can always say, that's what I did. And I'm sorry that I did that. I've educated myself now and we can move on from it. Mm. But the fact that that's not happening, it's just... It just it was interesting to me because uh, she was very much talking about, you know, giving flowers to Lucy, let me support her and stuff like that. Um, but then she was very vocal on supporting Molly May and clapping back at Shauna on Twitter about... What, what, what was that? Uh, Shauna was just talking... You know when Molly's 24 hours comments? Oh, yeah. And people are still saying 24 hours and it's rinsed. Do you know what I mean? Like people are still talking about 24 hours. I just find it so boring. Uh, But um, Shauna must have said something. Oh, you know, this girl probably doesn't know about things or ditzy or something like that. I don't know what she was saying. And then 
Moa responded saying that, you know, uh, I think you would know of all people that being alone uh, or being publicly slated or anything like that is not right at all. Yeah. And then it's like, well, you know, what about you one day when she was, you know, having her name dragged through the mud, dragged through the mud or Lucy's running around calling her a bully and stuff yeah. like that. Surely she, you would know how it feels then. Because yeah, I don't get her, that. So I thought that hypocrisy mm-hmm. was very interesting. And I just feel like, you know, it's just annoying. Yeah. I, don't know, I just find it very annoying. Um, but I also wanted to touch on post Love Island yes. because you are one of the most successful Love Islanders. Well, people dragged me to filth. Right. So we're going to get into this. Okay. But I feel like you are one of the most successful Love Islanders. Yeah. It's And at on, one point. On paper. Yeah. Yeah. On paper when it comes. To, okay. Come on paper. Coin. Bank. <laughs> um, like if you look at the facts and the figures, then yes. If you look on Instagram, not so much. But yeah. No, anyway. But like Instagram, it's just not your thing. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you're, you like to do it when you want to do it. Mm-hmm. You don't see it as constantly on yeah. because, and it's okay to be like that yeah. but i just feel like we're gonna get into this other topic later there's so much i want to talk about okay um but how, how long have we got 25 minutes oh but my it's God, all good we haven't got enough time man no 25 <laughs> oh you said we can have longer yay, yay! He's it. yay! yay! <laughs> He's loving it best episode yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead um <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I feel like you're one of the most successful Love Islanders. You've yeah. come out of the show. You got that million deal as well. Yeah. Then you got other clothing line deals. Yeah. Um. You also had a book coming out as well. Yeah. Like you were on reality TV, but then you kind of left it. Like other shows that you were about to do, yeah. or like SAS or stuff like that. You just w- wasn't really your vibe. But like you've constantly been booked and busy. Yeah. Um. Since you've left the show. Yeah. You're the, you're not the only one. I feel like you and Molly yeah. have been both like that. So why do you think the people like to compare you both? I feel there's always comparisons of if you're not doing something right, oh, Molly's not doing this or Molly's doing this. No, 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 no. Why do people compare you and Molly May? I don't understand. Because both of you are what? The, the two biggest islanders. Yeah. I'd, well, I'd say so. I don't know. You know, I think it's this whole thing of Instagram is life. Mm. And like, yeah, Instagram is life. So when somebody has got more followers than me and it looks like whatever... Like they're doing loads of brand deals. Cause I tell you what she's very good at doing and I really like Molly and people think I'm so jealous of her and I'm totally yes. not. I am totally not. Me and her are on completely different wavelengths. Mm. I respect what she does and I think she's very good at what she does. But I, that's not for me clearly. Mm. And I'm not good at doing that. So why am I gonna, um, it's like if you if you judge a, a fish on its ability to walk, it's never gonna be good. Mm. So why are we pitted against each other when we're clearly nothing alike don't have a clue it consistently happens to us though a lot it must be draining and just annoying it's, it's very like draining parison is like the thief of enjoyment They're yeah just... it's very draining and i'd say out of all of the trolling and everything like that this is the worst thing for me being compared to molly May. being compared to molly it's horrendous because i second guess myself am i doing good that's the thing am i and i am i'm 24 years old and i've got a property company i've got lucrative deals mm. coming in like just because i can't like just because i'm not hyper visible on instagram or it doesn't look like i'm consistently doing something doesn't mean there's nothing's going on in the background for me mm. and but i second guess myself because when so many people say it well i won the violent well i shouldn't have won and i'm not doing very well and you sit there and you think am i not and this that's the worst thing for me and i've had to really sort of um work on not letting dealing that, with that yeah because it's hard it can be very hard because it pours into the conversation of everything being a rat race once you've come out of the show yeah and uh you're not doing enough if you don't get these deals yeah you failed you yeah. flopped and stuff like that and then it's like like i just it's pressure and i feel like we all including me needs to stop putting islanders in a position where they need to compare themselves and put pressure and not do well because it's such a slippery slope for your mental health yeah and I feel like, you know, we all, including me, need to stop comparing people because you just come out and do whatever the hell you want to do. Sometimes you might, somebody might win the show and be like, you know what? Back to my village. Yeah. I'm out. Exactly. Done. And that's respectable as well. Because like, there's not like a single metric for success. There's lots of different ways that someone can be mm. successful. Being hyper vis- visible might not be success. what success looks like to someone else. Mm. Having loads of money might not be what looks like success. You, there's just loads and it's really it's yeah that's the worst thing for me ever i can imagine 
it is the worst. It's just annoying. And then if I reply, it's like, why you can't sneak up Molly's name? You know, I'm friends with her. Mm. I, we, I would reply to our stories. Like, we're like, tech, like, um, like reply to each other's stories on Instagram, like messaging each other on Instagram a couple of times, wish happy birthday, like happy, tell your mum congratulations when she got married. We do not dislike each other. I do not dislike her. I'm not mm. jealous of her. And I like what she's done. I respect what she's done. Why, where does this come from? Why is it like that? Why is it when people say this to me and I reply, I'm now suddenly jealous or like, yeah, you did flop or you are irrelevant. Mm. Do you think I want to be relevant? I want to be as irrelevant as possible, making as much money as I can. Mm. That's my thing. Because when I was coming out of Love Island, it's not fun. I want my audience, because I've got a specific personality. I've got a specific humor. I just like my people. My followers now are the best. They get me. They know what's going on. If I go MIA, they, they know what, what's up. I don't want like the Love Island fans who want me to be in a relationship or want me to be like that. I don't want that. Mm. And so I've created something different for myself. And that's fine. And I think that's a good message. And I think I need to put this out there more because I don't think I talk about it at all. I just get on with it because it's just it's just one of those things that right. you have to deal with. But I think I should talk about it more that, you know, there's different paths for everybody. And just because your friend's successful doesn't mean that you can't be successful in something different. And exactly. Not, you know. It's a big, big world. Yeah. There's lots of ways to make money. There's lots of ways to find happiness and there's lots of ways to find success. Like, you know. Come on, Pastor Amber. Hey. <laughs> wow, you left me hanging there. I no, I didn't. I didn't really know. Scared. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was really scared. <laughs> okay, <laughs> cool. Yeah, but yeah. I don't ever like to sound too deep. That's my problem. I'm very much like, <laughs> I like to keep everything lighthearted. So like talking, oh, I could compare, comparison. Nah, I just want to get on with it. Yeah, because it's annoying. Yeah, it it's is an it is annoying. annoying. It is annoying. No, of course, you know, you won the show. You've gone to many of them. How many times do you want to say it, honey? I just love saying it because right. you're actually a winner. If, if, when I interview winners, I'll just keep saying it because like you won. Yeah. Uh, going to so many events, have you ever bumped into any islanders or stuff or people that you didn't really get on with? Or islanders that or from it doesn't have to be your season, could be many other seasons or anything like that where it just, it didn't go well for you uh in terms of just an interaction or maybe I bump into it's people been quite fine often. i bump into people quite yeah. often and it's fine curtis is one because i used to call him a robot <laughs> I used to, he used to get dragged by me in the villa like i always had a problem he just looking mm. at me like what are you doing now like yeah, i always me and curtis <laughs> just did not Curtis is so interesting yeah like i suppose when you're in that situation you're living with somebody when you're not living with someone i see you at an event mm. like you're like we don't want to have Mm. Yeah, there's no issue hi hello how are you you're doing good got work going on great see you later bye i That's won't it. do that with people that i don't like but he's <laughs> i don't think he's a, b a bad person he just did some messiness mm. on the show but genuinely it's okay to be a robot you know <laughs> <laughs> there may not have been any interactions you may have just been fine with everyone do you know what i mean I remember seeing Michael and he was like, Oh, that's going to be awkward though. My wife's name. I'm dead. Fucking <laughs> mouth. That's what he was like. Was, I can't remember where we were, but that's what he was like. And I was like, Ooh. Really? Yeah. About Joanna? About, no, no, about oh. himself. I was just using oh. that. Oh, about just oh. I was just About that. himself. Rough. He was basically saying, I was talking about him in interviews and I was like, It's kind of hard to like. I mean, this bypass. is the thing. You have to talk about people because they're part of your experience. It's hard. It's hard. Like, I was a trash Even now, you talk about people because they're part of your story. Yeah. You know I mean, a story isn't made up of just one person. Yeah. It's not how it's made up on. Um, it's, it's like you're not doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. Yeah, and I think that's the only bad reaction. But I'm not like besties with every single person. Like I've got people that I'm really close with, got people that I don't talk to. And even on different seasons as well. Like I'm mm. not some people I liked on the show and I'll I like to I like to follow them and, and see what they're up to. And then I'll speak to them at events and then others. Were you around when Sharif just got randomly dragged out of the villa? I was around from day one. You know I was around. <laughs> what do you mean, was I around? Because you're an OG and a winner. You know, I'm going to keep saying it. Yeah. But, but, but like, what was your feelings about Shock that? I was shocked because I wasn't there mm. when whatever happened happened. I'm still confused and I was told. I'm still confused about what exactly happened. Um, But yeah, I was devastated because I really grew close to Sharif. I remember being really upset about that. Because mm. I'm like, oh, it's such a, wa like, such a waste. Like, he had such a fun personality that, Nobody got to witness. And I think um, 
Yeah, it, it, from what I hear, it, I don't know if the situation was that bad. But I don't know because I wasn't there. I mm. wish I had been there, but I think it happened in the bathroom upstairs. I don't know what I was doing. Probably kicking off with someone somewhere. But I missed it all. But I would have... Between him and Molly and then it just like... Something went. happened. I don't know if it was a kick or something. something. A kick, I think. I don't know what happened. It must have been a kick or some, some kind of altercation. But I don't know. And I just wish that I had been in that bathroom to see it. Yeah. Because then I would have been able to judge. Because, you know, injustice, I would have been with my flag saying, no, don't get them out. Do you know what I mean? If it wasn't bad how do you deal with like a large group of people like on you publicly when you leave like the the boohoo event was it a boohoo event with you and your one day and something went you know gained traction and you know you guys were trending <laughs> and people thought you were on something and your mouth was moving and stuff like that and the whole world is on you like how do you deal with that and then does it like prevent you from feeling that way again in the future if you faced similar scenarios not you just being now dead. that was yeah just i'm just being, dead i just on. died yeah sorry because that was so weird in. um that was the worst time of my life ever and i, f- I feel like i said that about something else but no this is the what did that do comparing that? with the molly maze yeah not, that's that's hard to deal with yeah it's not the worst thing ever it's hard to deal with and i'm learning mm-hmm. how to deal with it however this was the worst time in my life like ever like horrendous like didn't get out of bed depression ho- like horrendous and because i actually hadn't done anything wrong like i actually hadn't took drugs mm. genuinely like i feel people know that i would just say like all this time i would just say now if i was like oh you caught us on a like blah blah blah, blah. i was not it was unfortunate it was my event people were hiding his drinks and i probably should have been more careful about who was handing his what and what I was drinking and I was drinking too much. My family were there. It wasn't that vibe. Like it wasn't that vibe. I mean, when is that vibe? Mm. But you know, it wasn't it wasn't that at all. And so I couldn't defend with, yeah. I couldn't defend myself because I couldn't say I wasn't because people were hell bent that I was on drugs or on something. Am I allowed to say that? I yeah, don't know. It's fine. Um and people were saying I should lose my Miss Pap deal. I didn't know if I was going to. Um, mm. My management at the time were not like, they were good for the purpose, but they weren't like, we weren't close. Mm. So I had no support. It was kind of like, oh, just wait till it blows over. And I couldn't because it was consuming. I couldn't stop looking at the video. It's on Twitter now. It's on YouTube. There's an article about it. Amber's looking worse for wear. And it was just awful. It was so bad. Oh, you've got no idea how bad it was. It was so bad. I can imagine must have been horrific i don't even know how i got through it actually i can't remember i think i've blocked it out of my mind because it probably traumatizes that much i've blocked it out of my mm. mind um but yeah and i couldn't defend myself i had to sit there and say nothing and just let people say what they wanted to say and luckily i didn't lose anything from it no you didn't, luckily actually. nothing came of it but yeah the worst time ever definitely without a doubt moving on from that in terms of your um accomplishments there is one that you you haven't been as open about but it's about your property yes game yes so what is that all about have you bought are you trying to buy are you are the investments are you looking in dubai i think you're yes. looking because you know you're being consistent on youtube yeah well like you are you're being consistent now subscribe my channel for um not daily and inconsistent content <laughs> right yeah not daily and consistent in, you are. inconsistent yeah, and inconsistent. not daily at all but you are consistent though I've tried to be. I'll probably, I, I'm going to try and do it like at least once every two weeks. I feel like that's my out. platform. TikTok and YouTube. And this is going back to the whole Instagram thing. I'm trying to fit a, a, a round, no, a round peg would fit in a square mm. hole, but a, pe- a square peg in a round hole. That's I don't know what playing. the hell you just said, but cool. No, because if you had a, if you had <laughs> a just, square peg and you had a shapes. circle, it would go through. Okay. So it's the other way around. Okay. A circle and a square peg and I'm trying to get it in. Instagram. Right. And it's, it's, just, not, it's just not working. So I've, I'm, I've just said that. I know, but I wanted to have a little, like, what they're called? Analogy, was... little, you know, visual, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, it's not working. But I've got people, <laughs> I've got people to help us with it now, so I'm going to post, like, cute outfits. No, but you are posting well. You're doing well on YouTube. Like, I, I want to be, like... I told like... Anna two weeks ago. I said to her, you need to get your YouTube game up. Yeah. Because if you have... She has a personality for it. Yeah. She's just not doing I mean, it. I've got a personality for yeah, it. Yeah, you do. And I feel like you've been doing... That's why you won the show. But I just feel like... TikTok and YouTube are more my platforms. TikTok's for funniness, silliness. You know, I'm, I, I want to be silly every day. 
that's me. Mm. YouTube is showing my personality. It's why I like podcasts as well. I want to, I might do my own podcast. You should. I just like to talk shit 24 mm. seven. I've got an opinion on everything, so it'll be perfect. Um, But yeah, I want to be more consistent on YouTube. Uh, But yeah, with the property, I have my own property company. Um, I want to go into development. I have bought um, nice. up north. Nice. Not doing London yet. Not prepared to do London. I don't know the market that well. With Newcastle, with Manchester, I mm. sort of know the market a bit better. So I feel more knowledgeable to make the purchases. Right now, I'm just doing buy to let. But in the future, when I may not want to do TV anymore, I would do development because I love everything to do with that. Interesting. Love it. Have you always had a knack for property or no. something that just came across? No. Okay. I had no money to have any business in property. Screaming. <laughs> Like buying a tent. No, <laughs> that had no business. That wasn't even look. That was that was wasn't screaming. in my peripheral. That wasn't in my peripheral. It wasn't in my sights at all. But now, like, yeah, I like it though. Mm. It's interesting. I like learning about it, you know. And I and I have investments as well. I like all that side things, the whole Instagram. It's just a lot. Instagram is you have to it's be not, an aesthetic. It's not for me. I want to get into the nitty gritty bit about the property. I mm. want to do VCT, like venture capital funds. I want to have ISA as pension. I want to know the ins and outs of all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. I've been you getting know? stocks recently. I opened up a pension recently. And obviously yeah. I went through the investment game and bought a house as well. Yeah. So you just want to diversify in ways that don't have to be public. Yeah. Yeah. And I think not a lot of people are doing this. Do you have, I'm sure you have an accountant. Okay, sorted. Because some people don't even have accountants. When no, I speak to even influencers, um, you know, at this event, and they're like, "How did you get here? Why is this not a tax expense?" Because yeah. you're going to an event for your work. Yeah. They're like, "What is it? Like, why would I do that?" I'm like, "Oh my god! Like, yeah. you haven't created a limited company or something like that." They don't know what a lot of people don't know what they're doing. And I didn't, I didn't realize that. Did I have I. A we whole weren't, we weren't team. taught this in school. No, I have a whole team that helped me with a, a, everything in mm. my life, and that's what I need to go on Instagram. I'm going to build myself a nice little team on Instagram so I can get good because I know that I'm depriving the people of content and I'm so sorry for that. Especially but I will. Like, I do like your Instagram pictures. You like them? Yeah, I do like them because I feel like they're very casual but they look very good. Yeah. They're like very good. But yeah. Like when you're just like sitting or like with like some food and you're, I think you were holding uh, chopsticks in your hand. Yeah. Like one picture and then they just look like. Yeah. So I just, I, yeah, because I, I can't like, up my game now. Like, it's yeah, really, yeah, I feel I like can't. you should up your Instagram. Game. And I'm in the headspace now to do so. So if I, you're think, in, exactly. I think one thing for me coming out of the show, it was all of this. You've got a public platform now. Da, 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 and I had no idea. I had no idea. I used to post one blue picture a month on Instagram with me and my friends. So I think it's took me a while. And I think it happened a little while ago where I've just thought, I, I know how to do this now. Mm. I know how to take a picture. I know how to wear a nice outfit. I know how to edit my photos. I know what I'm doing, but I just need because I'm my time is stretched with other things. Like I'm looking at properties. I'm looking at this. I don't. It's a lot to I, do I don't want to think. Lot. Oh, I need to post a picture if it's mm. not for a specific reason. Um, but I can, you know. No, I feel like you're doing very well. You've accomplished so much. Thank you. Post the show. I feel like you were very composed throughout serious moments that affected you on the show as well. Like I yeah. feel like you should be very proud of yourself thank you uh not only your accomplishments but in terms of like pap miss pap deals or you had other clothes deals property stuff you're doing you also had a show about mental health in relation in with chem yeah that obviously um, aired as well and mm -hmm. that was great that you guys are working together yeah it was like really fun, it, it looked like you know you're constantly on something and even yeah. if you're not on something it's okay guys yeah. like, do you know what i mean it's, it's okay fine. to just be like i'm off back to my village yeah like it's i'm done you're not chill. a failure you'll and find like me in, such a bad with in mayfair think. i'm fine i haven't gone broke because on, i'm no not boo. doing anything do you know what i mean mm. like you'll find me somewhere eating a nice dinner if i'm not doing anything but it happens. That's part of this industry. Mm. Sometimes you've got a week for. Sometimes you've got, you got. Mm. You don't have that much. One thing I didn't want to ask you about is Anna vs. Jordan. I completely forgot to ask you this. When it went <laughs> off. Yes. Yeah. Wow. This was obviously after Casamore. This was the second best moment in love yeah. history. History. Now, Anna said that. And I think she said it before. But that it was happened for way longer than it did. Yeah. It was cut massively. Yeah. So what else was. I'm sure, I don't know why I didn't ask her this. But what else was she saying? Like, oh, what else was going on for it to be cut out? She was shouting so much. Like, I remember having to physically pull her back from him. She won't mind us saying this, right? I don't think I she remember her. No, she won't care. Um, having to, like, pull her back. 
like because she was proper like trying to go for him and it just went on for ages she was basically just repeating the same things because he wasn't getting it Mm. he wasn't getting it so she was just saying the same things but it just went on for so long we went into that lounge area we're speaking about it continued again out in it was just keep it it was non-stop continually happened it was going on all day or it was the evening but all all evening evening. it was nice to see you more uh and Anna, like yeah. the three girls who are literally like on ten or yeah. can be on ten, yeah, just got jo- poor Jordan, just got not Didn't even poor Jordan, but like he just got swallowed up. Didn't know what he was doing. I, and I up. had and I and I really rated Mora for that because she was the one that found out and she told Anna straight away. Mm. And I was like, there we go, honey. That's what I wanted you to do earlier. Exactly. Right? You know what I, mean? it, 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 I think she did that because. Maybe you had a conversation. I don't know if she did, but she had a conversation with, you know, back me with Michael. You didn't do enough. Yeah. Why is everybody sitting with him, talking yeah. to him? Because we're all really good friends. Mm. And I feel really lucky with that season because the girls were really good. We were all really good friends. Mm. And so in that situation, I feel like we were a united front. The boys had no chance. I remember the boys looking over. The boys were all just standing in the kitchen like, what do we do? Mm. I'm like, come on back here, boy. But they didn't want to. <laughs> They didn't know what to say, boy. They were swallowed up. And then Irby came in and collected his girl and walked yeah, away. That was really cool. And sorted him. that situation out. And yeah. we were just getting fed to the sharks yeah. because of his foolish behavior. Quite wild behavior. I heard that um, he was missing for a while before that took place. Who? Jordan. As missing? If, like, missing from the villa as the producers were like telling him to say. Anna mentioned this a couple of weeks ago that he was missing or the producers must have said that, you know, you can do this as an option. Go to India, oh, which potentially could be true. That could be true. Uh, but I wouldn't, that's a man in it. I wasn't noticing if In circumstances like that, the producers were good because they created that amazing moment for us to see on yeah. TV. Like, and Jordan obviously wanted to do it because he wanted to do it. He's a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was just insane. Insane. Wild. Absolutely wild. Like, I love, like, I love it now watching back. Mm. But then we were all so heated. Did you watch This Year's Love Island? Love Island 2021. Yeah, I you did. You were tweeting about I it did. as well. I was tweeting yeah. about it. You got a lot of like backlash coming your way about certain stuff. How do you even like? Do you want to? Do you do you want to tweet about it again this year? But people people think I was doing that for free. Like no, mm. I had a deal that meant that I needed to be watching because we had this thing where I had to be watching the seasons, waiting for my topic. So I think my topic was something like dating. So I watch every episode and if there was a date, great. I would do my commentary. And if there wasn't, I wouldn't, mm. but I would still need to watch the episode to see what happened because then I would, it would be disjointed. What do I think of this couple? Well, mm. I don't know because I haven't watched it. So I was just tweeting on the side of doing this deal with um one of the sponsors and people, people love my tweets. They loved it. And so I don't know whether I'll do it again this year because I did get a lot of backlash because I'll sit on the fact that I'll chop and change. Who doesn't? Yeah, Twitter backlash can be weird. People are very evil on there. Evil. 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 Wild. Wild. But yeah, <laughs> was you trying to do my accent? Not even. <laughs> did they come out like that? Yeah. I'm so- <laughs> did they actually? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see if I get another deal this year, baby. Sign me up, honey. Mm-hmm. We got another deal. I'll talk about it, but yeah, I feel like people really enjoyed it, and I still get tweets now being like, "Can't wait for Love Island for Amber's commentary," mm. and I'm like, "Jesus Christ, pressure, pressure it is pressure." So did you did you watch the season? Yeah. Did you like it? Like, of course you watched it, and you tweeted, but did you like? Did um, you really in, were you invested in it? I feel like sometimes I was tweeting, and my tweets were like more interesting than the mm. episodes at some points. Do you have any favorites or any people that you just weren't warming to on the show? Um, I loved Kaz. Right. Um, ended up really liking Chloe. Right. Didn't like her in the beginning because yeah, I heard that, you know something about um, sort of a married man or whatever. I mm. can't remember what she said. But then again, that's the VT. You've got to say something wild in the VT. I remember I said I'm 10 out of 10, even though I am. Yes. That's a wild thing to say. Mm. Um, wild is very much the buzzword for this conversation though. Do you not think? It very much is. Wild and chaos, but also composure at the same time. Um, so I ended up really loving Chloe. Loved Toby. Cause he's like a little teddy bear. Mm. Um, Toby's funny. I wasn't that fond of who was I not fond of? I can't think. I, who, who who was in the season again? Uh, Faye was in the season. Jake was in the season. Jake, I didn't want the Jake. Mm. I didn't want the Jake because I just I felt like it was all a show, and maybe that is his personality. But f- from what I was watching, it felt like everything was a show. Interesting. Every, it wasn't. You know, you can't just be chilled one time. You know. No. You don't have to be doing the it most. It was very duplicitous. Like every time he got caught, when something else was happening, he was smiling. 
of that. I don't know. It's editing. I don't know. You did mention uh, b- that to be good in the show, you just got to be chaos. Yeah. Okay. So get like get, this is a very get into this point because I've always thought this. So my advice for people that because I think it starts again, right? In two so months. so everybody's got different advice. Month and a half, want, actually. If you want the real advice, this is who you want to get the advice from, right? Yeah. So I would say the main thing is be yourself, but be as chaotic as possible because then they can't get rid of you. Remember, like I think you mentioned about Anna and Mora being up to go. Yeah, if they left, half of the story is missing. Mm. What's gonna happen? Do you know? So if you're chaotic, they're gonna you're you're not gonna go. So just say what you want to say, do what you want to do, and have a wonderful time and don't take anything too seriously but yeah chaotic is the top thing that you need to be i've always thought that yeah if i go in the villa the way i would just drag everyone yeah, for just fun. M- yeah. move mad for no reason even on the second day just move mad for- just well that was mad. me your sunglasses are shit yeah, i was I'll like be talking about your top hat is shit your, your <laughs> is shit like, are you dumb <laughs> you're old like, what's you look old you? that was you're, me yeah. yeah you look dusty you couldn't get rid of me yeah. even if they wanted to Everyone exactly. hated us. They couldn't get rid of us. <laughs> I would have been so. I would have been. I would have been probably the most hated guy in Britain. Yeah, well, I was for 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 mm. a short period. And then someone comes in, and then you're just loved. That's like it's, you had a great journey on the show, though. I did. I did. You had a great journey on the show. Like that whole Michael thing just helped. Yeah. I mean, the Casa Mozari helped you just. You just skyrocketed. Yeah. I remember everyone was like, "What is Amber gonna do? We love Amber, poor girl." Great season. Did- so I've saw a few people say that um, I won out of a pity vote. What do you think about that? Interesting. Come on, not, not her changing it around to me, yeah. uh, interviewing me. <laughs> I do think that some of that is true. And you may not uno like re- that. Uno reverse card. You may not like that, but I do think that some of that is true. Um, not really. They do. They felt sorry for the time that you had in there, mm. which was pretty rough. Yeah. And I don't think that's a bad thing. No, me neither. Like, okay, it's not really but, but it, also, it was 50% of the vote, so I don't believe everybody voted us for a pity vote. But no, I do think not. that was a factor. Definitely not. Definitely, it's definitely a factor. a factor. Yeah. Who, I would feel sorry for me too. Yeah. <laughs> so who, I can't remember now, but you guys, one of you had 50, was it him? He had it. He had a 50. No yeah. one's ever stolen on this damn show. Do you know what? How, I, it could have been me if I had got the mo- money. Mm. Because my brain was like, you don't know this man. Just take it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Those intrusive thoughts. Just take it. Just take it. Just do it. No one's ever done that. Mm-hmm. I think it would have been absolutely great to do. But then, am I just saying that now because I don't have the option? Right. Maybe. Because when you're standing up there, you're so overwhelmed that you would. Mm-hmm. It would be hard to go, I'm going to steal it. Do you know what I mean? It would be quite mm-hmm. crazy if you did that. Because I think you're just so like, oh my God, I've just won. That's mm. crazy. 25 grand. Wow. I'm not going to steal it. So I, I think it's a, It's. I don't know who would. When you're on the villa, the, in the villa, there's cameras around you. Yeah. And there's like people that speak to you as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That must be... And you don't know what time it is. No. That would drive me insane. You don't know what time it is. No, I, it, it didn't for me, to be fair. Not knowing that it's 3 p.m. or 8 p.m. Why do I need to know? Have I, I got an know. appointment? Like you need like, to know what time it is. I've got no appointments. I've got no place to be, you I'm know? screaming, not appointments. I've got no appointments, you know? Well, this new season I'm excited for. But I am excited. It's going to be extended we'll though for three weeks. What do you mean? They've, they extended it. I mean, poor souls. Yeah, poor three souls. more weeks of poor Love souls. Island. I was ready to leave after two months. I was ready to go. So poor souls. If somebody stays there from the beginning to the end. Yeah, poor souls. Good good luck to you. Three more weeks. Uh, apparently they might remove Casa Amor. I don't know if they're going to do that. No, they shouldn't remove Casa Amor. Um, Why would they do that? Something else. predictable, I guess. They put something else. Um, and then bring in LGBTQ plus Love that. How is that going to go? I don't know how that's going to work, but I would love that. I don't know how it's going to work. We've already had like gay relations on the show in 2017. 2016, Love Island, two girls picked each other. So I guess it it will happen if it just happens. My issue with the LGBTQ plus inclusion is that the producers are going to try to fix it or force it. Yeah. And rather it should just flow naturally. Yeah, it's quite hard, isn't it? That's why it's quite hard. Do you know what I mean? If you want to... Because it's got to be formatted to a certain degree. But when you when you have mm. everyone like that, you still can't. You've just got to let and it And then be. we're not dumb as an audience. We can tell if something's fixed. Yeah. So I think that could be an issue. Yeah. Tell me about this book because I need to know what it's about. Yeah. Because I've seen things about it. I know you're releasing a book. Yeah. But... So when I came out, I decided for myself, like, you can either do all the pretty pictures and, and not be aware of what's going on in the world or whatever mm. or 
you can be true to who you are and stand up for things that you believe in and do the right thing and and do things that are meaningful. And I think I get so much more satisfaction from things that are meaningful. So the way that this book come about is Harper Collins, um, section romance section, which is Mills and Boone. They they were aware that their authors were middle class white women and also the characters in the book were middle class white women. Right. So they wanted to bring more representation to the romance genre. So it started off with me hosting a competition. I was one of the judges in the competition. Mm solely underrepresented ethnic minorities could apply whoever won so i read all the stories and we picked the best story whoever won got a year's publishing contract with harper collins got that book published and to me i was like that's amazing because i wanted to do an english degree hmm. i was in uh, books when i was younger and i didn't have that representation i mean i read tracy vika and that was about it i love you know? tracy vika i mean shout out jacqueline wilson she was I absolutely love tracy vika. the best but mm. There wasn't that much representation. Nothing to rise with you. Um, and so I'm bringing out this romance book. Come on, romance. Yeah. Oh, it's romance. Yeah. Nice. Nothing to do with me. Like, nothing to do with me in my life. It's just this completely mm. fictional story. But really sweet about people like look like me. Um, a whole host of characters from different backgrounds. Um, there's a little bit of LGBT characters nice. in there. But it's just a nice story. And like, I just want people to feel like they're represented and I want them to read it and feel like it's What's funny the name of the book? and heartwarming until I met you. Nice. I like that. Until I met you by until Amber Scale, published on the 7th of July, honey. Until I met you. Yeah. Who, me? Yeah. Who, yeah. me? Who, me? Who, me? Yeah, nice. that's what I'm going to have to do on publication. Yeah. Until I met you. Who, me? Um, but yeah. So then, yeah. So that that's sort of been my stance for a couple of years now. I was always do things that are really close to your heart in Coming from a predominantly white area, it's close to my heart. Luckily, I've stayed in touch, but it it's mm -hmm. hard too. It's hard too, and that's why I'm glad I moved to London because I feel like I'm just around so many different people, and it just it's enriches enriches the personality, culture, doesn't it? Then yeah, totally. I can imagine. Yeah, hundred and ten percent. It's a huge disparity to Newcastle and London and town. Completely different, but it makes you grow as a human mm. being. And I'm, I'm so much book. more developed. I'm excited yeah. for your book. It's on pre-order. Link in the description. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, where, where is it on pre-order? Um, it's on Amazon on pre-order. Amazon on pre-order. Yeah. Okay, we'll put the we'll put the link. It'll be the first thing. Yeah. In the bio. Oh, that's so, you don't have to do that. I'm, I was only I joking. It's fine. I was only joking. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm excited for the book. Yeah. I think it's a very good way to. It and it out. seems pretty random and very at, good different way to go. Yeah, and at the, but the time, more random was, the better. Yeah. That's the way I see it. At the time, I was really upset because um, there was this girl, this journalist girl, I don't know who she is. And she said, because um, this Sun headline came out about it being a steamy novel, which is not at all. <laughs> and this girl, who was also mixed race, I believe, said, um, this is not a good fit for Amber. What's she doing? Um, Maura should be doing this instead. And I'm like, but if you sat there and waited, you would know this is about representation and diversity. It's not about who can write the steamiest novel. It's about given a platform to people i'm hosting a competition where somebody gets that book published that's a big deal to people huge that's a big deal because people huge. it's hard to especially in mills and boone because they've got so many people like authors that have already done books it's hard to get your book published mm. and i'm trying to make that an opportunity or i'm trying to give a platform to that so as many people as possible apply and i sat and read all the stories and, and somebody said yeah more i should have got it instead and i was like as a mixed race girl as well why would you say that why would you say that? Why would you say that? Do you know what I mean? Make, Why would you say that? Sense. And I do think Maura would be good at writing a steamy novel, but don't say that in the same breath as something that I'm doing. Mm. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. It's not cute. Not cute. Mm -hmm. But the book's cute. But the book is... I like how you guys say the word book. Book? Book. Book's coming It's out. just so different. My new book. Uh, wait, the yeah? book's coming out. Pre-order on Amazon. Yeah. And the first link in this bio cheeky little promo that i didn't think that i was gonna get in so no but i think go. that i wanted to speak about it anyways i'm glad mm -hmm. you reminded it's an important thing to talk about i feel like your audience would really appreciate no of course that. Do you know what i mean and of course it's a book do yeah. you know what i mean it's like it's a lot of but work. i think the meaning behind it as well is really sweet and Until that was I met the, you. that was my driving force behind it representation and diversity mm. honey just here for it very very good and it was such a nice idea to do just to go into like writing why not why not i think it's fantastic yeah. So I mean, it's a very accomplished post-love island. So don't ever doubt yourself, babes. 
very com- no, and you try not and accomplished. Yeah. yeah, you shouldn't doubt yourself. And yeah. it's so easy to do that in this world. So easy, especially when millions of people are feeding into it. For me, you can't pay yourself anyway. Mm. So when millions of people feed into it, like amplifies it. it. Yeah. I can imagine. Well, I'm just shit, aren't I? Because I've got like 2.6 million well, followers. You fell off but then you think like about that. and I was like, hang on, I've got 2.6 million followers and I'm saying that I'm not. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, isn't it? These people have me tripping sometimes. Mm. So that's why I come off Instagram just for a little bit and then I come back on when I want to. Because shit doesn't affect me. Mm. So when it's affecting us, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just rewind a bit. Yeah, something's going on. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. I appreciate much. it for gracing me with your presence. Was it not too dark? Was it funny? It was a great episode. I think I love this. We talked about so much. Yeah. It was a broad spectrum. I think spectrum. you look beautiful. Thank you. Yes, we talked about such a diverse range of topics. I feel like we could have even spoke about more. A legend. Like what? What else do you want to speak about? I was just, I was just sorry. <laughs> just thing. I'm doing a Trek and Petra as well. But anyways. You're doing it? Trek and Petra. In Jordan? Yeah. Wow. For Joseph Cancer Trust. Wow. Just charity babes as well. Jordan is amazing. I've yeah. never been. So I'm but excited for that. But yeah. When's this that? It. May, next month. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. For how, what, what date? 14th to the 21st, okay, I believe. Cool. Yeah. Damn. So I'm like the leader. Of right. The so I just got you here right before you went to Jordan. Right before I went amazing. to Jordan. Amazing. Yeah. Happy days. Yeah. Thank you for gracing me with your presence. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Guys, we have Love Island legend Amber Rose Gill. Daily and consistent content, guys. Subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to the channel. Head over to an ACOS, Apple, and Spotify. Her book, the pre-order link will be in the bio below <laughs> as well. Until I met you, baby. Yeah! Until I met you. <laughs> and hold on. What time is it? What time is it? It's 8.43. I should have broken my fast 45 minutes ago, but yes. I completely forgotten. So, you Just know. keep the cameras rolling. Baby. I know, right? Yeah. I completely forgotten. But thank you. <laughs> and we'll catch you guys soon. Do we both just do the same thing? Yeah. I love us. <laughs> we actually did. We didn't even plan that. I know.